Hey there. Um, I hope you are uh, enjoying our many different videos and stories and crafts on our YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to, I haven't done it in months and months and months and months because we had so many things to offer you. Um, but I found in our library this book, A Quiet Place. And um, I was just thinking, gosh, I'd love to read this to somebody. So I'm going to read it to you. Again, this is called A Quiet Place. It's written by Douglas Wood and illustrated by Dan Andreessen. You know what illustrated means, right? Illustrated means it's the person who draws these really beautiful pictures. So I'm going to read to you the story and then I'm going to show you the pictures and I hope that you can see them. Um, I'll do my best to make sure that you can see them. A Quiet Place. Sometimes a person needs a quiet place. A place to rest your ears from bells ringing and whistles shrieking and grown-ups talking and engines roaring and horns blaring and grown-ups talking and radios playing and grown-ups, well, even grown-ups need a quiet place sometimes. But it can be hard to find one. You have to know where to look. You can see he has his hands over his ears. There's a busy city street. You could look under a bush, a lilac bush in your own backyard. When you crawl underneath it, all the sounds of the world seem soft and far away. And you can be a pirate, finding buried treasure on a desert island. A bush can be your quiet place. Until someone calls you to clean your room. Here's the pirate. Here he is under his bush. Then, you could look in the woods. You might find an old stump for a chair or a mossy log for a couch in a green mansion of shadows and sunbeams. It's not really quiet, of course. Blue jays scream warnings and wind sings in the leaves, but it feels quiet. And you can be a timber wolf, the gray ghost of the forest. The woods could be your quiet place. See him relaxing there on the tree stump? Ooh, those are pretty woods. But if the woods are too dark and deep, you could look by the sea on a beach in the early morning fog. Your footprints are the first of the day. The waves are roaring and the gulls are crying, but it doesn't seem noisy. And you can just be an explorer, discovering a lost continent. The beach could be your quiet place. Whoops, see him there on the beach? There he is. I think we have a little different understanding now, better understanding of how people are discovering other lands. Maybe we can pretend. But if the beach is not your cup of tea, you could look in the desert where old man saguaro reaches for the sky and far off thunderheads bloom like sky flowers over the mesas. A cactus wren drops by for a visit while a horned toad blinks in the sun and you can be a Pony Express rider galloping through the Old West. The desert could be your quiet place. Look at that. See him galloping? That's a cool picture. I love the desert. There's the old man saguaro. But if the desert is a bit too dry, you could sit by a pond, a heron by the shore stands still as a tree branch. And the water is so calm, it looks like a mirror. Then a frog plops from a lily pad and your face begins to wiggle. And you can be the world's greatest fisherman reeling in a monster catch. A pond could be your quiet place. There he is, sitting next to the pond. Ooh, and he's fishing. Wow, quiet. But if the fish aren't biting, you could look in a cavern where every footstep echoes and the slow 
drip, drip of water builds new rocks that hang like icicles or stand like sculptures, where days and nights and weeks and years are all the same. And you can be a cave dweller in the lair of the saber-toothed tiger. A cave could be your quiet place. But if a cave is too cold and damp, ooh, there he is, exploring the cave. Wow. But if a cave is too cold and damp, you could climb to the top of a hill where clouds float by like ships or alligators or elephants. On a hilltop, you can see a long way and think long thoughts about how and what and why. And you can be a mountain climber on the top of the world. A hilltop could be your quiet place. Look at him up top of that hill. That's not even a hill, that's a mountain. There's the hill. But if your legs are too tired for climbing, you could wait for a snowy day or lie down in a snowdrift. All around you, the falling snow whispers, shh, and wraps the world in silence. If you listen closely, you can almost hear it breathing. You breathe softly too, pretending to be a polar bear sleeping in a land where the snowy silence never ends. A snowdrift could be your quiet place. <gasps> Look at that polar bear sleeping. Those are cool lights too. Look at the sky. Here he is making snow angels. But if it's too warm for snow drifts, you could visit a museum where brass tigers and bronze lions stand silent guard over fabulous treasures. Every painting is a magic window that your own imagination can open wide and climb through. And you can be an artist admiring your own masterpiece. A museum could be your quiet place. But if the museum is closed for renovation, there he is, right? The museum. See that bronze lion watching over him in the corner? But if the museum is closed for renovation, you could go to a secret corner of the library where the only people talking are between the covers of books. They speak so softly, you can only hear them in your head as you read about forests and oceans and deserts and caverns and museums and a thousand other things. A library could be your quiet place. I love to read, just like I'm reading to you now. See where his imagination can take him with those books, those stories? But if the library isn't open yet, you could come home and clean your room and read your own books and think your own thoughts and feel your own feelings and discover the very best quiet place of all, that one that's always there no matter where you go or where you stay. There he is in his room. He's on his bed reading. Look at that. I bet that's his imagination. Ah, let's read that last again. You could discover the very best quiet place of all, the one that's always there, no matter where you go or where you stay, the one inside of you. And there's the moon and the night sky and clouds. This was A Quiet Place by Douglas Wood and illustrated by Dan Andreessen. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. And I hope to be able to read more stories to you um, in the coming months. So keep watching our YouTube channel and make sure if this is your first time, go ahead and click subscribe. And that way you'll always be notified of new things that come up on our Claremont Presbyterian Church YouTube channel. All right, friends, I'll see you again.